What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here. Today I got some news about the next big 1.12 update coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We got a ton of amazing content plus changes to the game as a whole, including multiplayer, league play, blackout, and so, so much more. I'm super excited, so let's check it out. First things first guys, starting today on January the 25th is going to be double XP and double weapon XP for Black Ops 4 multiplayer and it's going to last until Tuesday, January the 29th so we do have a few days to level up our guns, level up our accounts and yeah that should be pretty fun there so hop into some games this weekend and play. And now moving on to the 1.12 update, this is a pretty huge update if you guys are blackout players and they say there's going to be tuning for armor, concussions and cluster grenades in blackout which are three of probably the biggest concerns right now in the community and they say we'll be implementing a new round of tuning changes to blackout with this update including reduced damage protection for armor across the board levels one through three level three armor is no longer going to include additional damage protection against explosions and melee attacks so that's pretty interesting there um increased armor plates required to repair level three armor um if you guys didn't know vaughn has stated that it's going to take two plates to repair one tick of that level three armor now and then they also say they've reduced the status effect duration, areas of effect radius, and throw distance for the concussion grenades. Concussion grenades have been getting a lot of controversy within the COD community this week, mainly because they're very, very annoying. Because if you just throw one of those things, then you pretty much have already won the gunfight because your player is just completely taken out of the game. You can't heal, you can't shoot your gun, you can't reload, you can't do anything. So concussions are definitely very, very good for blackout, but now, they are going to be getting a huge nerf and then also here they say there's more options to outplay attackers when hit by a concussion grenade um, that probably means they're going to be able to give you the option to shoot your gun possibly um, also here increased time to detonate for cluster grenades damage reduction for mini cluster grenades explosion so the cluster grenades got a pretty big nerf here and then they also stated stay tuned for the full patch notes early next week to see all of the changes coming to blackout on Tuesday um, so Blackout is going to be getting a pretty big update here. They don't really go into specifics on how they're, they're going to be changing um, these items, but uh, we're going to have to find that out on Tuesday. And then also here um, for Ambush is a new LTM mode for Blackout on the PlayStation 4. Our next limited time mode arrives in Blackout next week on the PS4 with Ambush. Get the drop on your enemies using only sniper rifles, melee attacks, and launchers while surviving a circle that never stops collapsing once it starts. So with that description, it definitely does sound very, very hectic, very crazy, and a whole lot of fun, honestly. Sniping is one of my favorite things to do in Blackout, and just to have a mode with sniper rifles are probably going to be the uh, main source of, of attacking in this game. That's going to be very, very fun, so I cannot wait to play this game mode. And then also here is a regional blackout playlist. So um, for those of you guys who may not know, who may not be um, in areas that are probably in the lower population, such as South, South Africa, um, South America, etc., these players haven't really been able to play Blackout that much because they cannot connect to servers because they're they're so far away. But in the Reddit post, they do say they are going to be testing out a region-based rotation featuring playlists that will rotate multiple times per week. And so yeah, pretty much they want these players to bear with them because they are trying to make the Blackout experience best as possible for everyone around the world. And yeah, I really do feel for these guys because they really haven't had a good opportunity to experience Blackout. Um, so yeah, hopefully all of that gets sorted out very, very soon here. And then lastly here, I want to talk about the League Play update. This is what we have been waiting for. If you guys want to check out a video I did discussing League Play, go ahead. It's going to be down below in the description. It goes a little bit in depth about how the mode is going to operate this year. However, Treyarch does discuss some changes to the game mode and they say we'll have more news to share next week about the upcoming rollout of League Play and the World League Hub. We've made some fundamental changes to Black Ops 4's ranked system since we first announced our plans as well as numerous important updates to the CWL rule sets that will change how the game is played competitively for the better. Stay tuned for more intel coming soon. And so yeah, that's the little update we got on League Play here. 
Um, it's more than likely going to be coming out possibly sometime um, next week. I want to say towards the end of it. I'm not sure if it's going to come out on Tuesday exactly when the update rolls out. Um, but later that uh, week probably is, is going to be my guess. Now, a lot of people were very upset with how the league play system is going to work this year because basically we have three days to level up or get ranked in the ladders. And then after those three days are up, you cannot go down, you cannot go up. Um, and a lot of pro players just did not like the system. It was so confusing and really just not what, not what everybody had asked for. So um, hopefully these changes to the mode is going to be for the better. And so, yeah, a lot of stuff is going to be happening, guys, within this update on the 29th on Tuesday. Personally, I'm very excited for the blackout changes. Um, but I'm going to have a link to the Reddit post down below in the description if you guys want to read the entire thing. This was just some of the most important stuff that I found to be um, game changing. And so yeah, the link's going to be down there as well. Tell me your thoughts about all of these updates down below in the comments. Also drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.